Across the globe, there is significant variation in the number of alternative fuel vehicles implemented in each country and in types of vehicles being used as well. Across the globe, there's a lot of variation in the amount of uh, alternative fuel vehicles that have been implemented by, uh, by fleets. What we generally see is that in the countries where fuel prices are low, the situation is a little more challenging and it's harder to, um, to have a, um, a positive ROI when you're looking at alternative fuel vehicles. But there's a lot of countries where the price of gas and diesel is quite high, where it's taxed. And so for those countries, um, it's a lot easier for them to, to find situations where alternative fuel vehicles look attractive from a cost perspective. There are a lot of countries that have made significant, uh, uh, reg have significant regulations regarding emissions reductions. So that has also um, come into play so that you see significant variation in the amount of alternative fuel vehicles that are implemented in each country and in the types of alternative fuel vehicles that they are implementing.